In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most simplest route concepts in this game, but it's very effective at beating the Blitz and pretty much any coverage in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I also want to let you know that I'm going to be talking today about the Y off trips pats. I also refer to this as the U trips offense, as it was called that in previous Maddens. And if you want to learn my entire U trips ebook, I want to encourage you to join my Patreon. My Patreon is $10 a month. And for just $10 a month, you're going to get instant access and unlimited access to every ebook, every guide that I've released all season long, and every guide that I will release while your subscription, subscription is active. So again, for just $10 a month, you basically get access to everything and you can cancel whatever you want. I've already got 11 ebooks over there, four on offense and, and seven on the defensive side of the ball. So if you want to get better at this game, I would really, really encourage you to join the Patreon. There's a link in the description below. You can click that link join for just ten dollars and like i said you could cancel whenever you will like okay guys so the play we're gonna be talking about today is y option wheel this is one of my favorite little plays out of utrips and there's a lot that we can do with this play but my favorite recommendation for how i would recommend people would run this play is relatively simple all we're going to do is we're going to put the circle receiver on a five yard out route we're going to uh, put the tight end on a curl we're going to put the R1 on a hitch, so it looks just like this. And then we're going to put the square receiver, which is that solo receiver, on a flat route. So you see this is basically what the play looks like. Essentially, if the user goes to the right, we're going to throw to the left. And if the user goes to the left, then we're going to throw to the right. right? So what we're going to show you here is this running back route will pretty much always get open. That running back route will be every single coverage of the game. I would argue that that route right there is probably the best route in Madden 22 for the running back. And the reason why is because of how successful it is against literally any coverage. So again here, this is the Meta Mabel coverage out of the Mike Blitz three. And what you're gonna see is we're just gonna low ball that and get an easy 10 yards. Again, I love this concept because not just because it's so good in terms of getting you some easy short yards, but it's also really, really good if they were to blitz you. For example, here, I'm gonna to go to the Mike Blitz three and we're just gonna send the, the heavy pressure. And what you're gonna notice here is right off the bat, I can easily throw the running back and get about 15 yards. Really simple. And again, like I said, we're gonna watch what their user does. Now, in previous Maddens, one of the most popular ways for people to try to defend this is they would basically man the running back up. But in this year's Madden, all you have to do is basically throw it either inside or low ball it depending on how the man coverage kind of works out so i'm going to go to mike blitz zero here and i'm just going to show you what this what this play would look like and again all you're going to do right here just low ball inside and as you see i'm able to beat this for an easy 10 yards every single time so that's my left side concept i can beat every coverage in the game to the left now let's talk about the right side concept so if the user goes uh, to the left side at the snap of the ball, then we have this concept on the back side. So you see what this looks like right here? We've got the hitch, the out, and the curl. 99.9% .9 of the time your hitch should be wide open this year. The way the game works this year is yellow zones get pulled back by pretty much anything. And so if they're in zone coverage, it's very likely that your hitch is going to be 100% open. So that was uh, the, mic or the, the cover four drop. I'm gonna show you the Mike Blitz three coverage here. And what you should see here is again, the hitch should get open. And you see here the hitch, they go out, you throw the hitch right there. I should have low balled that. I could have possession caught that for an easy gain. Um, let me show you now, uh, for example, cover two. I will tell you cover two does defend this probably the best out of any coverage. But what you'll see here is I can say, you know what? I can still low ball. See how those yellows get sucked back? That vertical hook in theory should sit on the hitch, but that the curl, pulls back everything this year. I'm not sure why, but that's just kind of how the game works, okay? So that's cover four, cover three, cover two. And now I want to show you man coverage. Now, if you get a man read, ideally what I would recommend is just low ball the tight end. Low ball the tight end is the easiest way to beat man coverage. And again, you have to watch their user. Does the user go to the right or to the left? Most of the time, this is just my opinion, but most of the time their user will go to the left. Um, but Every now and then, if they get tired of you throwing the tight end or throwing the hitch and all that over and over again, they might go to the tight end. So basically, it's like if the guy goes left, he goes right. Okay, I'm no, I'm, I'm no, I'm looking to the left now, and I can make an easy read, right? So it's very simple to run this concept, but this concept literally beats everything. One other little suggestion that you might think about in terms of this 
is let's say for example they're running a lot of shaded coverage up and you wanted to kind of give yourself a little bit of um, protection what you can do is you can smart route your out route to Mike Evans and why I like this is because the smart routed out route if you just pass it outside it cooks man especially off man like that where they shade up and most of the time people if they know what they're doing if they're defending U trips they're gonna shade their coverage up because if they don't this offense is gonna kill them over the top the other reason why I like this so much is because let's say for example that you're getting the Mike Woods three and you're getting the Mabel concept right what I like about this is the smart routed out route will really pull these zones a little bit more and as you can see I can easily throw that hitch very consistently so you know, this is one of my favorite plays, again, just to kind of uh, fill my opponent out, try to get into his coverage a little bit, just simple spacing concept. But it's really, really good. And it's very difficult to stop. And it's going to put their user in a position where he's going to have to choose. Am I going to go to the right or am I going to go to the left? And wherever he chooses, you're just going to throw the opposite direction. I want to thank you for watching this video. I also want to encourage you, if you want to get my U-Trips Offensive eBook, make sure to join that Patreon. It gets you unlimited access to every eBook that I release in the Madden 22 season. As long as your subscription is active, you can cancel whenever you want. And the best thing about it, I think, is the price. It's only 10 bucks a month, and you can literally get unlimited access to everything. So make sure to join the Patreon. There's a link in the description below, and we'll see you guys over at the Patreon.